Hello everybody, uh, it's again Alex and we are going to create um, a new track uh, similar to Joyride, uh, something like uh, Speed Garage or uh, Deep deep House uh, basses and so on. Everything is made in FL Studio. Uh, we are using only Citrus and some samples. I've taken some samples from Vergen's library. It's a kick. Clap, snare, uh, not usable snare, yes, we, uh, we don't use it, another snare, and heads, open hi-hat by the way, um, first bass is sound, uh, sounds like this, the second one sounds like this, and this and also this okay let's listen to this uh, short demo and you will see how it plays together <laughs> look uh, inside of the synthesizers first one is uh, the main bass um, it's a standard plugin of uh, FL Studio called Citrus um, the first uh, oscillator or operator call it in Citrus is just a simple sign and uh, here is one and tron uh, pitch uh, main pitch is minus 24 as you can see um, so the second operator which creates uh, some interesting punch effect uh, goes with two pitch it's actually a frac ratio here is one and, and here is two, okay, and also four. We are using it adds some fluctuations, okay. And second, and now second. using on a uh, second operator uh, volume and envel envelope with a high attack ratio and uh, very fast decay and that's that's all on uh, the Force operator, we don't use anything. Okay, the second base is uh, more interesting. It's all. It's also citrus. The first operator is uh, looks like this. Second one looked like this with uh, envelope on vo volume to create uh, attack sound. And the third is a uh, square tooth with slope attack uh, ratio on envelope. If you don't understand how FM synthesis work works. Uh, you can uh, see 
other videos on YouTube with explanation. Basically, um, we are using uh, th the second and third operator to um, make the first operator uh, to take, um, I'm sorry, the second and third operator uh, modulates uh, the frequency of the first operator. And this is uh, how much uh, amplitude we, we are going to send to the first operator of the second. Hope it's clear. Okay, uh, the third sound is... So first operator is square twos with uh, this uh, envelope and the second is like that, um, something like a so twos. And the four scenes, um, it's also uh, consists of two operators. First operator is a simple sign, and the second operator. Just look at this. This is very interesting. Uh, here is the frec frequency ra ratio is a thirteen. Look. What's very interesting this um, some kind of frequency offset. Okay, for drums we are using samples. for kick. Also we are using here uh, s call it uh, sidechain effect. So um, our kick is routed to uh, second channel. I'm sorry. And we are using uh, sidechain to bass and to uh, a screamer. What is screamer? Okay. How side chain works? Uh, here we here we uh, send in side chain signals to the base fifth channel, and now we go to this channel. We must put. Uh, for example, fruiter limiter, and here we we select comp, not limit comp, and here we select uh, input number. Right click and kick, okay, or none. We are using kick, and then they just uh, adjust these two val val values. Let's listen. <laughs> You just listen to how this works and uh, you can actually see this in on this picture. Okay. I think uh, that's all that I wanted to show. Uh, you must know really some basic techniques to create interesting and uh, good sounding uh, basses with uh, citrus and uh, using some s some kind of sidechain effect from um, and sending in from kick or bass drum um, okay what about mastering um, I'm using here only a fruity parametric equalizer 2 with uh, high boost it's uh, my my minor uh, adjustments only. I don't use any presets, and I'm using st standard fruity li limiter with slightly um, higher gain.
Okay, let's listen. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I understand that uh, my English is not perfect, but hope you understood everything uh, in this tutorial. If you like this, please leave the comments what uh, you want to see. Uh, I will share. Uh, I have a really good experience in FL Studio and in professional music productions. Uh, the only downside that my English, uh, speaking English in us in is not very perfect, but I will try to improve it. By the way, I'm using a uh, micro cork um, mic, uh, microphone, and it actually sounds really bad, like a cheap uh, a Chinese microphone. Um, okay, thank you for uh, watching. Subscribe, leave your comments. Bye-bye.